Hi guys, this is Mark Shaw's in The Pattern Trader, and today I feel like I'm uh, returning to the scene of the crime because uh, once again I'm going to talk about the uh, Pound New Zealand. Uh, I've been kind of uh, pounding you guys uh, with the uh, virtues of this trade for quite some time, and uh, once again I'm going to sing its praises based on uh, today's market action. But uh, before I do that, uh, let me just uh, give a quick shout out uh, to... Uh, Marcos from Australia. Marcos wrote me. Uh, he says, Hi, Marcos. I'm 26. I'm in Australia. I'm a recent postgraduate in international economics and finance. Uh, wow, pretty impressive, Marcos. Uh, I'm even intimidated. I've been trading now for two years. I came across Mark through a dollar yen YouTube video. I knew then Mark would mean a difference in my professional career. I started following his free content and then decided to join the Master Pattern Trader program. Uh, enrich, this enriched my knowledge from both the technical perspective from a, key per, from a key perspective and the psychological by analyzing Mark's trading behavior uh, priceless. So Marcus, uh, thanks for those kind, kind words of support and I'm glad you're enjoying the Master Pattern uh, Trader Program. Uh, this takes place uh, every Friday. But once again, uh, today we had a, a hookup or what I call a key reversal in the pound New Zealand, where uh, pound New Zealand went uh, as low as uh, around the 191 area, and now it's trading about 192.50, about 100, 150 pips higher uh, than uh, the lows. Now, we'll have to see where it closes. We're still uh, three, four hours from the close, so to my mind, I put a lot of stock in the close, and if you know we go all the way back down, this would uh, kind of... Uh, you know, circumvent this whole analysis, but I uh, kind of uh, harbor, you know, the inclination or feeling that we are going to close on the high. What's been happening really is uh, in mid-July, we put on a double bottom price pattern. This is a bullish price pattern uh, between the 182 and the 184 price level. And uh, then we got a huge uh, springboard effect off of this double bottom to 194. In, in the past couple of weeks, we've just gone between 194 and 190. Very severe, uh, sclerotic trading, chaotic trading. Uh, every day it's up 200, down 300, and we're left wondering, you know, what is actually happening here. But to my mind, the patterns always point the direction. So notwithstanding the fact that, uh, you know, I've got several positions actually from prices higher, I've uh, hung on to these uh Positions, even though they're showing a, a small loss in my account right now, I continue to hold them in the belief that uh, this thing is going uh, to go higher. Now, this isn't some kind of spiritual belief or religious belief. Uh, this is really belief in objective analysis in the price patterns themselves. So, to my mind, uh, the double bottom uh, last July, as well as the long term double bottom uh, that occurred a couple of years ago in the late 2016, 2017 timeframe, uh, to my mind, these patterns point the ultimate direction uh, that this will be going. So even though I'm holding some small losses in current positions, I've made a boatload on the recent run up from the 184 to the 192, and I just started taking a poke uh, at uh, recent price levels. Uh, and again, I think that this uh, key reversal today is ultimately gonna point the way higher uh, much higher levels in the pound versus New Zealand dollar. So I'll do a short analysis on the charts. I hope you um, enjoyed this and uh, I'll speak to you next time. In this video, I'm going to share my analysis on why I think the pound versus New Zealand dollar is going to head higher and possibly much higher. Uh, before I do that, I just want you guys to know that I've been on record since late 2016, early 2017, uh, calling the turnaround operation in Pound New Zealand and uh, continuously taking advantage of the huge moves to the upside. You can see in this outgoing email on Sunday, April 2017, I entitled the email, Pound New Zealand to the Moon. And in that particular email, I already had an established position in the Pound New Zealand at 175.09. And then this had, had considerably higher, about 400 pips higher. And instead of getting out, I was looking to add to my position at 179.31, which we eventually did. And we ended up taking over 1,600 pips collectively uh, out of the surge in Pound New Zealand uh, out of uh, that time frame. Later in the year, uh, in September 2017, 
uh, I put out an email entitled Pound New Zealand Skybound in the trade update. It read, on the heels of a massive rally today in Pound New Zealand, the combination of daily and weekly trades has put this month's gain over 1,440 pips. So again, I have been extracting massive uh, moves uh, on the uh, upward trajectory in Pound New Zealand over the course of the last couple of years. More recently, I sent out an email to our worldwide members on Tuesday, August 6, 2019, about a month ago, alerting them to a turn, a double bottom support, and a reversal uh, higher in the pound versus New Zealand dollar. In this particular email, I alerted our members to buy the pound New Zealand dollar at a buy stop of 186.72. As we'll see in just a moment, uh, this is trading uh, 600 pips higher, around 192.5 currently. So now I'm going to the price charts to discuss why I have been so bullish uh, long term in the pound versus New Zealand dollar. I'm going to start by examining the pound versus New Zealand dollar on a weekly chart where each one of these price bars uh, represents one weekly session. Now you can see pound New Zealand crash from a high of about 255 all the way to about 165 uh, from 2015 to about late 2016. Uh, but then we could see a uh, turnaround in the pound New Zealand beginning right here where we saw these two double bottoms. But in particular, I was looking at the price action when it made an all-time low within this double bottom, and then it closed the week a 1,000 pips higher. Uh, to my mind, that reversal indicated uh, that this was going to reverse over time. I began shouting from the foothills to anyone who would listen to me that Pound New Zealand was going to start reversing. And incrementally, uh, we saw that begin to happen when it came back around here, put on the second bottom. So now we had a very well-defined double bottom, which is just what it sounds like. It looks like a W where the market crashes to an all-time low, bounces off that low, retests that low. And when we look back, we have this W or double bottom. And this reversal indicates that this market will go higher over time. Now, after going through the neckline, we retested the neckline, put on this rounding bottom, and both the double bottom and the rounding bottom shared this common neckline. The neckline is simply a line that crosses through the entirety of the pattern. Now, you can see that whereas the 180 was the old uh, resistance area, this has become the new support. And more recently, we saw how New Zealand test this support and put on a double bottom right at the 180. We'll go to the daily charts in a moment, and you'll see how we put a double, a double bottom on the daily charts right in this time frame. And so based on the price action here, the way this thing bounced, where we made a new low, close on the high, made a new low, close on the high, this is a very... Uh, confirming price action within the pattern. So we have the pattern and the price action. And now ultimately this is going to head higher. And if we eclipse this neckline around the 2000 area, I can well imagine that we're going to go a lot higher in pound New Zealand over the course of the next few weeks and months. In this chart, I'm looking at the pound versus New Zealand dollar, this time on a daily chart. And as we can see back in July, we put on this double bottom price patterns. Now you'll notice that the second trough, if you will, is lower than the other one, but it doesn't matter. When you look back, you can see a very well-defined W bottom, just like we saw on the weekly. Once it came through the top of this, this is the neckline. Now we look back and this is a W or double bottom. With this double bottom, this tells us that this is going to reverse and head higher over time. Now, this is very important when we see these patterns because, as you can see in the more recent time frame, we've had a lot of amb ambiguity. And in this kind of choppy price action, it's very easy to second-guess yourself or doubt yourself and say, oh, it's coming off of fortune. It's all over. It looks like it's headed uh, lower, and then it kind of bounces. Then it comes back down, and then you're scared again. You're wondering if it's going to go lower. Uh, I have kept the faith, and I've made an enormous amount on the run-up from the 182 to 192 area. And then more recently, I started to aggregate more positions in here 
frankly, uh, they're still in a losing position. I aggregate a lot of these positions. I'll show you in just a moment above 193, and uh, they're in a losing position right now. But uh, I don't just dump out of them because, uh, you know, of some interim volatility uh, or, you know, the fact that I'm ambivalent about what's going on. This chart pattern tells me exactly where this thing is going, and it may take several more weeks of just chopping around here in an undefined way, but ultimately this chart pattern is telling me where we're going to go. And so you can see in today's price action, we made what I call a key reversal. When we went lower, tested the 191 price area, and now we're trading about 192 and a half. We'll have to wait a couple hours to see where this is going to close. Uh, but if this closes uh, closer to the high than the low of the range, to my mind, this key reversal, uh, just like this one, is starting to point the way that this eventually uh, will break higher in the pound versus New Zealand dollar. These are my current open positions in the pound versus New Zealand dollar. And as you can see, I'm in a uh, what looks to be a fairly significant losing position losing about $35,000 uh, currently in pound New Zealand open positions. I think it's important to show you this. I don't want to uh, only show you my winners. I made a, a lot of money uh, in the recent run up from the 184 to the 192, dumped out of those positions and now have uh, aggregated uh, you know, further positions around 193. But I haven't lost faith despite the fact that we've been going sideways uh, for the last couple of weeks. I bought these uh, as you can see, a, a week or so ago. So I've been just sitting in these trades for quite some time uh, while they've been going against me, uh, while they've been going for me, uh, in that I have the ultimate faith that this will break to the upside by virtue of the long-term price patterns. And I think that uh, this is an important demonstration of why you know it's important to trust uh, the patterns uh, to direct you where something's going. Now, it may not go immediately for you, and I think this is where a lot of people lose a lot of money getting in and out, wondering what's going on. Uh, when it's going down, maybe you start shorting it and you know doing all kinds of things because uh, it looks so robust and you get emotional. And so I think it's very important uh, to understand uh, when you see these patterns, they will ultimately uh, break in the direction of the, as indicated by the pattern, and keeping the faith is what will keep you uh, consistently profitable. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, my analysis on the chart of the pound New Zealand dollar. Uh, this week only, uh, I am uh, putting my book up uh, for sale, my own personal trading journey, the pattern trader uh, journey. And it's available for the grand price of anything uh, you would like to pay for it. So whatever value. Uh, you think this may be worth to you in your trading if you'd like to learn, you know, how I, you know, came about to analyze, you know, charts that lead to monster moves, then I encourage you to download this book. And again, it's available for uh, the grand price of anything you want to pay for it. So with that said, I wish you a healthy and prosperous trading day.